All right, we headed back to the gridiron as we focus on a couple MAIS schools. How about Hartfield Academy? They've been playing real well this year. The Hawks at home tonight hosting East Rankin. We start at the very start of the second half. It's 49 to 3, so obviously well out of hand. But check this out. One of the best football players in the state, Brandon Buckhalter. Like I said, this looks entirely too easy. Gets a kickoff, cuts left, has good blocking. No one comes even near him. He's like, I'm just going to, I don't know, maybe take a nice little stroll into the end zone. Slight work for him. Hey, he gives a high five to a fan, and he also gives us a flex. We need to give East Rankin some love. Tucker Loper gets a handoff on the left end, uses his blockers well, you know, gets out of bounds in the uh, red zone. First down, and for the first time in the game, East Rankin knocking on the door. The Patriots trying to get it in the end zone. You got to give it back to Loper. They do. He gets in. Hartfield wins, though, 55 to 10. Now on to Central Homes, traveling to Hillcrest Christian. Cougars are going to start us off. Will McCrory hits Braden Freeman wide open on the slant. Doesn't get too far, though. Gets taken down right away. But that's all right because the next play, uh, reverse. You got to get him. Xavier Davis gets a handoff. He's down the sideline. He goes missing for a few seconds, but there you see him in the end zone. For the touchdown, Trogan, Trojans, they're trying to get some payback. Jace Dean sounds like a country singer, quarterback keeper for the touchdown, but the Cougars are not done yet. This time, Regan Britt is going to get the handoff, and it was really this easy all night, kind of. Actually, that doesn't look too easy. That's pretty tough, but they win 44-13. to 13. Shout out to Hillcrest. And the Tri-County Academy Rebels looking for a, ro a road win tonight over the Cougars of Central Hines. The Cougars special teams coming up big. They get to the punter after a bad snap. Tackle him in the end zone for a safety. Nice play for the Cougs, but the Rebels still leading 14-2 in the second quarter. Tri-County would add to that lead as Zach Clark gets free, just runs past the Cougars' defense on the far sideline. That is a 56-yard touchdown run. Tri-County up 28-2 at that point. Then it's Trace Deerman keeping it himself from the snap. Bust through the middle of the defense for a 36-yard game. He's looking for the touchdown, but he gets stopped in the red zone. But Clark would cap the drive with another touchdown, his third touchdown in the second half. Tri-County wins on the road, 34-9 over Central Hines. No more games, but still some of the best plays we saw tonight coming up. The out. high five, our best five plays of the night. That's next.